My name is Mrs. Vicki Wismer, Director of the Governor's School for Science and Technology. The Governor's School is one of 19 academic year Governor's Schools in the state of Virginia that provides students with acceleration and exploration in areas ranging from arts to government, international studies, and STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The purpose of the academic year governor school is to provide gifted high school students academic opportunities beyond those normally available in their home schools. We provide challenging academic college courses as well as chances to participate in real world opportunities. Students have an opportunity to earn up to 40 dual enrollment credits over their junior and senior years. Governor school leads students to develop their individual motivation, skills, and interests. We also help students to understand the knowledge and qualifications required for advanced positions and professional occupations. My name is Jana Eggleston. Research Methodology and Ethics is a course designed for our first year students, enabling them to explore and implement sound experimental design across all science disciplines and culminating in a research portfolio. This last year saw our students being recognized at the Tidewater Science and Engineering Fair the Virginia State Science and Engineering Fair, as well as James Madison's Humanities and Science Symposium. Students are exposed to vast opportunities associated with research and development. Our students select, design, and conduct a research project under the direction of a mentor. My name is Laura Vobrack and I'm the Mentorship Coordinator here at the Governor's School for Science and Technology. The Seniors Honors Research and Mentorship course is the capstone of our program. The students design and conduct a year-long research project under the direction of a professional in their field of interest. My name is Quentin Lassiter. I'm a senior in the engineering strand at the New Horizons Governor School for Science and Technology. My mentorship at Jefferson Lab has been a remarkable experience. At Jefferson Lab, I designed and manufactured a device that will be used in a national laboratory to, to assist in the production of cryo modules for Stanford University. As a freshman, I would have never believed that as a senior that I would have accomplished my mentorship project, but thanks to my mentor, Christiana Wilson, it was possible. This experience of accomplishing something that few high school students have the opportunities to do is common among all seniors at GSST. The experience of being a Governor's School student reaches beyond the classroom. Students leave with more than just knowledge because the experience here motivates students to compete and stretch beyond their limits. We prepare students for future academic competitions in college, shorten time to undergraduate degrees due to the dual enrollment credits, and prepare students for successful, fulfilling careers. Hi, my name is Dr. Rhett Wu, and I am the junior physics teacher here at the Governor's School for Science and Technology. The engineering physics strand at the Governor's School consists of a two-year program. In the first year, students learn calculus-based physics, which forms the underlying foundation of knowledge for uh, any future career in physics or engineering. Um, in the second year, students um, take the engineering design uh, course uh, where they learn modern physics as well as engineering design principles and they really get to see a lot of the physics that they've learned in the junior year in action and see how it's used in industry and um, other places. The Governor's School for Science and Technology focuses on best practices in the field of gifted education. We stress non-traditional teaching and learning techniques. For instance, we offer small group instruction, hands-on experiences, research, field studies. So I teach using the flipped classroom model, which um, allows students to do most of the academic book learning at home. And in the class, that frees up a lot of time where instead of me lecturing, we do um, lots of lab experiences as well as traditional problem solving. The class is very, very interactive and they are uh, forming questions and, and asking questions of each other as well as ourselves and really seeing um, how the knowledge that they've been reading about at home or listening to uh, the video lectures uh, comes to life. Um, they um, leave the class having received eight dual enrolled college credits. They are prepared to take two AP Physics C um, uh, exams, both the mechanics and e &M, as well as the SAT subtests. Well, I'm Dr. Justin Burnell. I'm a lead researcher at the MITRE Corporation and I've been working with the Governor's School students for the past six years and they are every bit as capable as the college level interns that we bring in on a yearly basis. 
We have them work traditionally on open source challenges that are present in not only the academic and government research communities, but also within the research communities at MITRE. Uh, the students that we work with traditionally publish really highly valuable and highly technical documents. We've had students go on to publish in peer-reviewed conferences and even win awards for some of the work that they've done with us in the past. I'm David Thames, and I worked under Dr. Burnell at the MITRE Corporation for my Governor's School Mentorship. During this mentorship, I was able to work in a professional environment unlike what you would get in a normal high school classroom. This also led to an internship, which I will be working at over the summer before college. I'm Jennifer Clark. I teach the Advanced Chemical Analysis course at the Governor's School. The course is very different than a traditional AP course that they might find at their home school because it's very lab intensive. The students spend 50% of their time in lab. It's very important to me as I teach this course that the students don't just learn science, but they learn science by doing science. The students take the skills that they've learned in my class during that junior year, and they go on and they take advanced biology. And so the second year of biology that they take is a college level course, and they use a lot of the same laboratory skills that they've used in my class as they go through into their new course. Um, they also have to complete a senior mentorship project and many of those students are involved in either biology or chemistry types of mentorships where again they can use those same skills. My name is Steve Urick. I'm the hatchery manager of the Virginia Tech Seafood Agricultural Research Extension Center in Hampton, Virginia. I'm currently mentoring two Governor's School Science Technology students. Uh, Lauren Cassidy both did a project on the color optimization of clownfish and their work is already benefiting two companies, one in California, one in Virginia. The work that were done by the two mentees uh, were essentially a college level uh, paper and presentation. I was very impressed with their work. Hi, my name is Lauren Cook and I work at the Virginia Tech Agricultural Research and Extension Center for my mentorship with Cassidy Clark. And uh, I think the best part of my mentorship experience was really the hands-on experience I got every Tuesday and Thursday that we came by. Being able to make an impact, I think, on the aquaculture industry today is really something I didn't imagine I would be able to do at, with a mentorship. You know, I thought I'd just be getting some research experience, but I had no idea that what me and Cassidy did would actually impact what is going on in our local industry today. I just, I love my mentorship. It's so much fun. I love coming here. I always look forward to Tuesdays and Thursdays because I get to come here and have fun, kind of just de-stress from the day. I'm Mary Patterson and I have the good fortune of teaching advanced biological analysis at the Governor's School. We really stress hands-on learning here and a lot of times I'll have students actually do the teaching after having ample time to prepare. I think that that's a really good strategy for having students really learn something. Hello, I'm Mason Miles. I participated in Governor's School along the biology and uh, chemistry track. I now go to Carnegie Mellon University as a biology and psychology major with a philosophy minor. Going through Governor's School and the challenges uh, that I faced in my classes had a great effect on me in college where I was already slightly more prepared than most people to uh, work harder and actually have to study to get good grades and then I've also participated in a uh, lab research course and the skills I learned at uh, Governor's School through the chemistry and biology uh, classes doing labs there uh, really helped me to know how to wor work in a lab setting Graduates of the Governor's School receive millions in scholarships and grants each year to attend the colleges and universities of their choice. Our graduates attend the most prestigious colleges in the nation, including Ivy League schools, U.S. service academies, and many of the top engineering schools. Students who attend the Governor's School are among the brightest the state has to offer. Students must apply and compete for the opportunity to attend the Governor's School. All are exceptional students with a desire to excel at their studies and show outstanding promise for their future. 